unacceptable. 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 <laughs> it is not going to be tolerated. North Charleston police still investigating the fatal shooting of a transgender woman. Police say 29 year old Denali Stuckey was shot and killed early Saturday on Carner Avenue in North Charleston. Tonight, local LGBTQ leaders and her loved ones came together to honor her with the vigil. Our Paula Tristan Ruta was also at that vigil today and Paula police say that they aren't. They don't know at this point in time if this was a hate crime. Well, while the motive behind Stucky's death is still being investigated, her loved ones say there's no denying the violence transgender women face. Tonight, family and friends remembered her life and made their message known. The show does much love. Does y'all keep my cousin? I thank y'all. To Denali's family, she was amazing and she, um, she touched my heart and she touched my children's heart. Tonight, the LGBTQ community came together to remember Denali Barry Stuckey, a 29-year-old transgender woman who friends say had her whole life ahead of her. She just was a wonderful person. Her and my daughter looked at each other as sisters, and they are so hurt that someone did this to her. Police say they arrived on Carner Avenue early Saturday morning on what was initially reported to be a possible auto pedestrian accident. Instead, they found Stucky on the side of the road with a gunshot wound. And now they say they're actively investigating. Um, we definitely have a homicide. Uh, I think it'd be premature to label as a hate crime. Obviously, we haven't closed the book on that or anything else. Activists say her death marks the 12th this year for transgender women in the U.S. All of them were African American. We predicted just a month ago that this wouldn't be the last trans black murder. Um, but the fact that we didn't know it would be here in the holy city is the most chilling fact of it all. South Carolina is one of five states without a hate crimes law. While police search for a motive, activists say more needs to be done if it turns out that she was killed because of her gender identity. We need those sort of protections here in South Carolina, and so we're asking people to reach out to the representatives and say, we've got to make that law happen now. Anyone with any information about the shooting is asked to call Crime Stoppers. That number is at the bottom of your screen. Today, North Charleston released a statement on the deadly shooting, which says in part, the motives of the death of Denali Barry Stuckey are still being investigated, but we hope that through this tragic act, greater awareness is gained of the continuing discrimination and harassment of the LGBTQ community, and hope that one day our society will achieve true, full acceptance of all.